Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to be on Christmas break. Woo! Hey there, bookish friends. My name is Gabby. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Lefty Reads. I'm on Christmas break. <laughs> and there is a Christmas tree behind me. There is a Christmas headband upon my crown. And there is a Christmas sweater upon my person. I love Christmas. I'm so excited and honestly this is probably what I'm going to look like in my videos. Oh hi! You want to be in the camera? Oh maybe he doesn't. I have a cat! I oh ah! I'm so excited that it is December and that it is Christmas and that I get to look like this and film in front of this. Anyway, I finished my last final yesterday and I have been kind of just like relaxing all day and then I decided to film a video and talk about my winter break TBR. During the semester I don't have a lot of time to read the stuff that I want to read and I don't have a lot of energy or motivation to do so and so when winter break comes along it's beautiful. I get to read anything I want. I get to just relax and I just get to do my thing. So here are some of the books I hope to read over this break. The first book on my TBR is The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, which is the first book in the series of unfortunate events. And this doesn't actually count towards my TBR because I read it today. But I figured I'd still include it so you guys know that this was something I'd planned to read over winter break and I did in fact read it. I'm getting so hyped for the new Netflix TV series about the series of unfortunate events and Neil Patrick Harris is in it and I... There's a cat attacking me. Hi! Hi! Anyway, I haven't read this book series since I was a wee little lassie, so I decided to delve back into it and I do not regret a thing. It is so good. Ow! Ow! What the fuck? Next on my TBR is Book of the Second, The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket. I might start reading this tonight. They're so quick to get through. It literally took me like two hours to read the first book, and I'm a slow reader. Surprise, surprise! The next book on my TBR is book number three in the series, and that is The Wide Window. This is the last book in the series that I actually own, so unless I buy more over winter break, this is as far as I'll go. <sighs> Which makes me sad. Also on my TBR this winter break, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm sorry if there's weird noises going on in the background, but that's my cat playing. I'm not going to stop him though because he's so dang cute. <laughs> anyway, I have mentioned on this channel before that I read this book when I was younger, probably like ninth grade, and I wasn't crazy about it, but I'm hoping that I'm going to go back in and reread it with different expectations and kind of different ideas um, about what this book is supposed to be, and I think I'd be able to appreciate it a lot more now, so I'm really excited. I also would like to read... My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ash, and Jody Meadows. Uh, if the camera shakes, I'm sorry, my cat. This is the first video I've done with my cat being present. Oh. I've heard many good things about this novel. It's supposed to be quick. It's supposed to be funny. That's kind of what I need right now. I just need, like, entertainment, you know, after the semester that I have had. I don't need a whole lot of, like, heavy, thought-provoking reads. I just need something just take my brain away for a few minutes. I'd also like to read Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is like an origin story for the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland and I've heard so many wonderful things about it and I'm just really really excited about it. This is probably one of the heavier reads on the spectrum this winter break but I'm still really hyped about it. It's so beautiful and I just kind of want to tackle it now while I'm still really excited about it. And the last book that I for sure want to read this winter break I don't actually own but that is volume three of the saga graphic novels by Brian K. Vaughn and I think there's somebody else but I don't know I'm really sorry. I have read the first two volumes and I just really really love these graphic novels. I'm surprised they're the first graphic novels I've really read and I'm so into it, so into it. If money weren't a thing that actually existed, I would definitely order the entire um, 
series. I don't know if they're all released yet, but I'd order whatever's available. But I know for sure that I'm going to get the third volume, and I'm super pumped. I will probably reread the first two volumes just because a lot happens in these graphic novels, so... I'm excited about that. And the final book that I'm going to do my darndest to read this winter break is going to be determined by the almighty TBR cup. Basically this cup contains slips of paper that have book titles and challenges and whatnot on them. Um, this used to be in a basket, but I took that basket to school with me so now it is in a cup. Let's see what the TBR cup decides. Okay, well, there's things falling on me because it's not in a basket anymore. There's literally one stuck in my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, but this is the one that I have decided upon. And I, it tells me I am going to be reading Personal Demons by Lisa DeRocher. I think that's how you say it. I'm just going to be adding this right onto my Winter Break TBR pile. Which is good. This is a book I've definitely been meaning to pick up for a really long time. I have the entire trilogy signed. Somehow I managed to get all three books signed. And I just have not read it yet. And, you know, it'll be a good thing for me. It'll be good. So here we have my winter break TBR. It seems a little ambitious. Because um, when you add Saga to it, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. And I definitely don't usually read that much in one. However, I mean, these books go by really quickly. I have a feeling this one will go by really quickly. The saga will go by very quickly. So it's not as much reading as it actually looks like it is. I'm really going to try to read all of these and maybe more. Hopefully I have time to read more. How cool would that be? No! Rascal! Get down! Oh my god! I am going to be going to Florida for like a week or so for Christmas, so I might end up just reading some stuff on my Kindle, like maybe some old e-arcs that I have not read yet. So who knows, but I'm going to do my best, my absolute best, to read the books that you see here. So that's it. Hopefully I get some really good reading done this winter break. Hopefully I enjoy the things that I have to read. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to read this holiday season. Let me know if you've read any of the books I have here, which you probably have because I literally have Harry Potter in the series of unfortunate events, so why wouldn't you have read those? But let me know if you have any favorites among my selections today, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you found any sort of entertainment value in this video, and also don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on when and what I post. Damn cat. I will leave links to other places you can find me, such as Twitter, my blog, Instagram. So you should go hit those up too, and we can chat about books and life and other fun stuff. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, bye bookish friends.